Hello, I'm going to show you how to um, edit the interactive map in this uh, in this video. First of all, we'll start with the 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 general settings. Um, this includes all sorts of all sorts of um, Dukesville specific uh, settings to do with social security, etc. Um, but the the entry we're interested in for the interactive map is in the general settings under Dukesfield and it's this setting here um, so these are um, longitude latitude pair separated by a comma and uh, we also have a zoom level for for the map as well so this is this is basically the starting point for the interactive map so if I get us a um, a get it onto the interactive map page which is located in history interactive map you'll see here this is this is where this is where we are on the interactive map now if I I'm not entirely sure of the the what the zoom level is but basically if you if it, it, the smaller the number the more zoomed out you are so if I was to put something like five in here and submit that and then refresh refresh the page you'll see we've gone we've gone way up into space there in terms of the in terms of the zoom so 10 11 12 are probably about the right level um, that you that you want to have um, for this for this map once you've got all the points on it'll become apparent what the what the appropriate level is just to just to get everything in so I'm going to show you how to now add the points of interest and uh, and the and the routes okay so we've got two custom post types here the map points and the map routes so we'll start with, with the easier case and uh, the map points which are just single points so there's none currently listed so if we add a new map point and uh, we need to give it a title we can give it a little bit of text and this text will appear in the in the pop-up box um, when when the user hovers over the point on the map and there's also um, some some uh, extra data that we can choose here we've got the latitude and longitude um, and a related post ID this is optional um, and we could link in theory we could link it to a, a particular page a blog post or even one of the one of the transcription documents if you if you see fit every every entry in WordPress has a unique ID um, and you, you you can find that by editing that particular that particular document so if I'll show you where to where to find this on say a, a transcription so these are all uh, are all the transcriptions we've got quite a lot in there if you hover over the edit um, you can if this is showing up right at the bottom there of the video you can see that it's got uh, in the URL question mark post equals and then it's 21,545 that's the that's the unique post ID or if you click on edit it's that guy there that's the that's the unique post ID for this particular thing and every page or blog post or transcription will have one of those so if we go back to go back to the map points add new and um, we'll look at uh, the, the this document that's been prepared in the, in the Dukesfield Dropbox and we'll start with uh, Dukesfield Hall say so we'll put the title is Dukesfield Hall some text about Dukesfield Hall and we've got uh, two numbers here. Um, oops. Um, we're not going to set a related post for this, but if you if you did write a, a, an article about Dukesfield Hall, that would be the place to put um, to put the the related information. 
So we can choose uh, from a few um, set of colours how what what uh, what point we want. Um, so if we select a, select a yellow point for that, say we don't need the root data. That's actually that's, that, that actually shouldn't be listed there. That should only be listed on the on the um, on the on the root type. We'll get that we'll get that removed because it's confusing. We don't need to fill that in. Um, so we'll just publish this. Dixfield Hall. And then we'll refresh the interactive map. I'm not sure where Dukesfield Hall is, it's looking like it's up here. And so we've got um, we've got the, the, the icon there showing showing our title and and text. We can also put in um, a featured image. And we can either drag and drop, upload a new featured image here, or we can or we can select one of the ones we've uploaded previously. Um, I'm sure none of these are, are remotely relevant right now. Um, but um, let's just temporarily use the use the the cook off um, picture with the kids. We'll update that. Refresh the map. There we go. When you click on it, yeah, we've got the. Uh, the map there. If we were to have um, put a, a related post ID in here, this would all be clickable. And when we hit, when we click that, it would take us off to that uh, to that re related document. I'm gonna I'm gonna remove the the featured image because that's not appropriate. And so we've got one that's that's suitable. Let's check that's gone. Yeah. Right. We'll do a let's do a root now. So you can just keep adding um, adding more and more map points um, with the information and the links for those. But we'll do a we'll do a root. So roots are, are pretty much the same. Um, we have a title for the root, um, and we'll select let's select a decent uh, a decent section. Route. We'll select some. Select a good good swathe of points there. So the root data we we'll just paste in here. You can make this box bigger like this, and that actually carried on onto the next page. Down to the scales cross. So we'll paste that in. So it's important that we've got um, one latitude, long longitude um, pair per line, separated by a comma. And these need to be numeric, and there's no blank lines, um, otherwise it uh, it might well complain at us. Um, and what's this kind of route called? It's kind of it's kind of Middle Duke's Field. I'm assuming that's kind of related. Middle Duke's Field to Scales Cross. These aren't displayed um, the titles, but it'd be useful to, to put in something that's that's interesting uh, 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 so that you can recognise them. You can choose the the style. Um, so we'll do. We'll, we'll just use white, purple, style, dotted, dotted line, and save, and publish that route. So now, when we refresh the interactive map, hopefully, yeah, we've got a we've got a route there. Um, and as you see, when you zoom in, it. Um, it kind of, it kind of doesn't get too too kind of clunky, hiding too much map. 
um, it kind of thins down and you can actually see the route so it comes down here and across the field it kind of looks like it's following some kind of track um, all the way along near, near Slaley Hall there so that's it, map points and routes and you can add as many of those as, as are required if you you can either um, if this carries on I'm not sure if it does you could you could just append it to the same to the same route if you wanted to change the style obviously of the of the path then you need to you need to add a new route point um, but you can have as many map routes as you see fit and also as many points as well that are, that are of interest to the visitors. Thank you.